Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the elect sojourners of the dispersion of Pontus, of Galatia, of Cappadocia, of Asia, and of Bithynia, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit to obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, according to his great mercy, having regenerated us to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and unfading, having been kept in heaven for you by the power of God, having been guarded in faith to him, to a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time, in which you exult yet a little while, if need be, grieving in manifold trials, so that the proving of your faith much more precious than perishing gold, that having been proved through fire, may be found to praise and honor and glory of the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom you love not having seen, and whom you exalt with unspeakable joy, and having glorified, believing in him, yet not seen, obtaining the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls, about which salvation the prophets sought out and searched out, prophesying concerning the grace for you, searching for what or what sort of time the Spirit of Christ made clear within them, testifying beforehand of the sufferings belonging to Christ and the glories after these to whom it was revealed that not to themselves but to us they ministered the same things which now were un announced to you by those having preached the gospel to you in the Holy Spirit sent from heaven into which things angels long to look into. Therefore, girding up the loins of your mind being sober, perfectly hope on the grace being brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ, and at the revelation of Jesus Christ, as obedient children, not in ignorance, fashioning yourselves to your former lusts but according to the Holy One who has called you. You also become holy in all conduct because it has been written, Be holy because I am holy. And if you call on him as Father, he judging without respect to persons according to the work of each one, pass the time of your sore journeying in fear knowing that not with corruptible things, silver or gold, you were redeemed from your worthless way of life handed down from your fathers, but with precious blood of Christ, as of an unblemished and unspotted lamb, indeed having been foreknown before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the last times because of you, the ones believing in God through him, he raising him from the dead and giving glory to him so that your faith and hope may be in God, purifying your souls in the obedience of the truth through the spirit to unpretended brotherly love. Love one another fervently out of a pure heart, having been born again, not by corruptible seed, but, un, but incorruptible 
through the living word of God and remaining forever. Because all flesh is as grass and all the glory of men as the flower of grass, the grass was dried and its flower fell out, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And this is the word preached as gospel to you. 1 Peter chapter 2 Then laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil words as newborn babes desire the pure soul nourishing milk that you may grow by it, if indeed you tasted that the Lord is good, having drawn near to him a living stone indeed having been rejected by men but chosen by god precious you also as living stones are being built a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to god through jesus christ because of this it is also contained in the scripture behold i lay in zion an elect precious stone a corner foundation and the one believing in him shall never in any way be ashamed then to you who believe belongs the honor but to disobeying ones he is the stone which those building rejected. This one became the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense to those disobeying, stumbling at the word to which they were also appointed. But you are an elect race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for possession, so that you may openly speak of the virtues of the one who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You who then were not a people, but now are the people of God, the one not pitied then, but now pitied. Beloved, I exhort you as sojourners and aliens to abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your behavior good among the nations, in that which they speak against you as evildoers, by observing your good works, they may glorify God on a day of visitation. obedience to every ordinance of men because of the Lord, whether to a king as being supreme, or to governors as through him having indeed been sent for vengeance on evildoers, but praise on well-doers, because so is the will of God, doing good to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free not having freedom as a cover of evil, but as slaves of God. Honor all, love the brotherhood. Fear God, honor the King. Servants, be obedient to your masters, and all fear, not only to those good and forbearing, but also to the worst ones. For this is a grace of, because of conscience toward God, and he bears with you suffering unjustly. For what glory is it if you patiently endure while sinning and being buffeted? But if you are suffering while doing good and patiently endure, this is a grace from God. For you were called to this, for even Christ suffered on our behalf, leaving 
behind an example for us that you should follow his steps. Who did not sin, nor was guile found in his mouth, who having been reviled did not revile and return, suffering he did not threaten, but gave himself up to him who was judging righteously, who himself bore in his body our sins onto the tree, that dying to sins we might live to righteousness, of whom by his wound you were healed, for you were strange sheep, but now you are turned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. First Peter chapter 3 Likewise, wives, submitting yourselves to your own husbands, that even if any disobey the word, through the behavior of the wives, they will without a word be one, observing your pure behavior in fear, of whom let it not be the outward act of braiding your hairs and of putting gold in them, or of clothing the adorning of garments, but the hidden man of the heart in the incorruptible adornment of the meek and quiet spirit, which is of great value before God. For so once indeed the holy women who were hoping on God adorned themselves, submitting themselves to their own husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose children you became doing good and fearing no terror. Likewise, husbands dwelling together according to knowledge, as with a weaker vessel, the female bestowing honor as truly being co-heirs of the grace of life, not cutting off your prayers. And finally, be all of one mind, sympathetic, loving the brothers, tender-hearted, friendly, not giving back evil for evil, or reviling against reviling, but on the contrary, giving, give blessing, knowing that you were called to this in order that you might inherit blessing for the one desiring to love life and to see good days let him restrain his tongue from evil even his lips not to speak God let him turn aside from evil and let him do good let him seek peace and pursue it because the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears open to the, their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against any doing bad things. And who is the one harming you if you become imitators of the good? But if you truly suffer because of righteousness, you are blessed. And do not fear their fear, nor be troubled, but sanctify the Lord. God in your hearts, and always be ready to give an answer to everyone asking you a reason concerning the hope in you, with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that while they speak against you as evildoers, they may be ashamed, those falsely accusing your good behavior in Christ. For it is better if the will of God wills it to suffer for doing good than for doing evil, because even Christ wants to suffer concerning sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, indeed being put to death in the Flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also doing, in which also going 
and to the spirits in prison. He then proclaimed to disobeying ones, we must the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, an ark having been prepared in which a few, that is, eight souls, were saved through water, which figure now also saves us baptism, not a putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who going into heaven is at the right of God, the angels and authorities and powers being subjected to him. First Peter chapter 4 Therefore Christ, having suffered for us in the flesh, you also arm yourselves with the same mind, because the one suffering in flesh has ceased from sin. For him no longer to live in the lusts of men, but in the will of God. The remaining time in the flesh, for the time of life having passed is sufficient for us to have worked out the will of the nations, having gone on in wantonness, thus drunkennesses, parties, corrosing and unlawful idolatries in which they are surprised you not running with them into the same overflow of unsavedness blaspheming who will give account to him having readiness to judge the living and dead for to this end also the gospel was preached to the dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but might live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things has drawn near. Be of sound mind, then, and be sensible to prayers, and above all things have fervent love to yourselves, because love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable, be hospitable to one another, without minds, each one as, as he received a gift ministering it to yourselves as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let it be as the words of God. If anyone ministers as that strength which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom, whom, to whom is the glory and the might forever Amen. Amen. He loved, do not be astonished at the fiery trial happening among you for your testing as if a surprise as if a surprise were occurring to you but according as you share the sufferings of Christ rejoice so that you may rejoice exulting at the revelation of his glory if you are reviled in the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of God and of glory rests on you. Truly, according to them, he is blasphemed, but according to you, he is glorified. For do not let any of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer, or as a meddler in the affairs of others. But if he suffers as a Christian, do not let him be ashamed, but to glory, but to glorify God 
in this respect because the time has come to begin the judgment from the house of God and if firstly from us what will be the end of the ones disobeying the gospel of God and if the righteous is scarcely saved where will the ungodly and sinner appear so as indeed the ones suffering according to God's will as to a faithful creator let them commit their souls in well-doing. 1 Peter chapter 5 I, a fellow elder, exhort the elders among you, I, being also witness of the sufferings of Christ, and being sharer of the glory about to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God among you, exercising oversight, not by compulsion, but willingly, nor eagerly for base gain, but readily, nor as exercising lordship over the ones allotted to you, but becoming examples of the flock, and at the appearing of the chief shepherd you will receive the never fading crown of glory likewise younger ones be subject to older ones and all being subject to one another put on humility because god sets himself against proud ones but he gives grace to humble ones then he humbled under the then be humbled under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in time casting all your anxiety onto him because it matters to him concerning you be sensible watch because your adversary the devil walks about as a roaring lion seeking someone he may devour whom firmly resist in the faith knowing the same sufferings that are in the world are being completed in your brotherhood now the god of all grace the one calling you to his eternal glory in christ jesus you having suffered a little he himself will perfect, confirm, strengthen, establish you. To him be the glory and the might forever and ever. Amen. I wrote to you by a few words by way of Sylvanus, the faithful brother, as I reckon, exhorting and witnessing this to be the true grace of God in which you stand, the fellow elected in Babylon, greet you. Also, Mark, my son, greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to you all. Amen.